I know there's a lot of people who've been asking for a long time for a live action version of Gargoyles. And apparently, from on high, James Wan has heard your pleas. <laughs> and his company, Atomic Monster, is apparently going to be producing an actual live action series. Not a movie, but a series of Gargoyles. This comes to us from The Hollywood Reporter, who writes the following. Almost 30 years after first appearing as an animated television series, Gargoyles is taking flight once more. This time in live action, two major names in the creature feature business, Gary, I'm going to mispronounce his name, the Berman, and James Wan's Atomic Monster Banner, known for their collaborations on the hit Annabelle horror movies, have teamed up to remake the 1990s cartoon as a live action series for Disney+. The project is described as being in early development at Disney-branded television. So, a lot of people for a long time have been asking for gargoyles. I traditionally have never thought it would work, to be honest with you. Like, I, I think it's one of those... Th there are a number of cartoons I used to love as a kid, some of which I think would make great movies or TV shows, some I think wouldn't translate well. This is one to me that I've never thought would translate well. But listen, even I've got to say that suddenly James Wan's name coming in to this, even for me, makes me go, huh, that, or, all right, that could be pretty cool. Although I was then again taken back. I, this seems to me to make more sense as a movie than anything else, but they're saying they're going to do it as a series. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video. Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before, I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com dot com slash campia cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia chris in this room i think you were the one who's been most excited about this pro so excited. prospect of this what do you think about this news where are your expectations how do you think they're going to do this how do you think it's going to be received what are they going to do your thoughts like is it my birthday let's go <laughs> this was such a important show for me as a kid it just aired in 94 to about 97 three seasons and honestly this series and i know it's going to sound like a stretch this series is probably why i became somebody who liked shakespeare so much really because this show pulled from all of that so yeah. much um their origin story is they were part of a castle in scotland and during a siege they all were cursed and everything mm. um, little mac Beth. Yes. So super big Macbeth vibes. It's so fun, so wonderful. A, a really dark show. There was an episode that they had to take off of TV because one of the gargoyles gets like accidentally shoots someone Oof. in a gun safety episode. It's wild. But as a show, I think this makes more sense because there is a very large, deep lore for this. There's mm. so many different characters. You learn about what happened back in Scotland. You learn about some other characters who didn't surface at the same time as our main gargoyles, you know, Goliath and Hudson and Lexington and them. Um, you have this really interesting relationship with this New York City cop who is wrestling with facts over being presented with magic and ancient creatures and and weird supernatural things happening so as a series i really really enjoy this because then you don't have to rush any of that you can really slowly build up that lore let us know who they all are let us all know how they're getting into this world especially because you have one of my favorite villains of all time xanatos who's uh played by jonathan franks and he's just this billionaire who is so smart he's very lex luthorian in nature where he just knows too much and has too much money and that power has corrupted him and he's fighting these gargoyles and doing all kinds of sinister right. things. You have enough time to have that nice big crescendo, I think, with the series. And man, I know I'm not a horror person, you guys, but when you tell me that, you know, like Jordan Peele was interested in this, I was super in. When you tell me someone like James Wan is interested in this, I'm super in. Before I wanted like a Guillermo del Toro because of the creature work, 
when we thought that Kenneth Branagh might be here. I wanted that because the Shakespeare. Like mm -hmm. these are the kinds of people I want in the room for a project like this too. Because at face value, you might just go, if you're not familiar, oh, it's some Disney cartoon from the 90s. It is so epic and violent and macabre and Shakespearean that you want heavy hitters involved in this. <clears throat> I had a friend of mine once when we were talking about this a few years ago. I'm like, I just don't know what a, a Gargoyles movie, because we were, we were thinking movie at the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that would look like. <clears throat> and what my friend said to me was, imagine the Highlander TV series, but with Gargoyles. I'm like, okay, okay. I'm, I'm starting to get there. Do, do you think there's a danger, though? Because while it had some more mature themes, it was still a kid's cartoon show. Yeah, you still had a gargoyle that was a dog. Right. How do you think they're going to approach that? Are they going to target adult audiences? Are they going to target the people who grew up with it? Are they still going to keep it to its original sense that it's going to be for families? It's going to be a family show or whatever. I mean, we are probably talking Disney Plus here. What approach do you think they're going to take it as far as the maturity of the series? If it were me, I'd skew a bit more adult. Because the show, sure, did have some zany antics every now and then, the dog gargoyle, the lighter fare and everything. But your your target demographic, right, are, you know, probably our age. Mm -hmm. And while you might want to share gargoyles with, like, your kids or your niece or nephew or whatever, I think going for that more mature kind of approach, one, fits the brief a bit more, makes it an easier transition into live action. And also, you can still have these big mature themes without going full spooky, yeah. right? Like mm -hmm. a Chris Carr could sit in this audience and not cover her eyes the whole time. Um, and so I think you can still walk that line with kids. You know, the same way that there were still children in the audience for like Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Right. Um, but I do think you walk away from some of the more 90s cartoony tropes. So you don't think they should go the poo, blood, and honey approach? <laughs> I don't think they should go full mm -hmm. poo, blood, and honey. Okay. I don't, don't think don't anyone ever Goliath should. You Goliath tearing people's heads no, off. No, oh, okay. I mean, good for you guys for making a movie, but man... <laughs> At what cost? <laughs> yeah. Do any of you guys remember this Fox show? Um, it, it, the main character was named Julius or something. It was like a vampire sort of drama. It hmm. reminded me of Gargoyles so much, just 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 the way the story. Wait, was this an animated show? No, no, no. It was a it was an actual drama series. It was a. Uh, and the main I, Andred, the embrace. All I know is because Anne, she was addicted to gargoyles That's at Julian. the same time as the show, and both of them reminded me of each other. Like, uh, I forgot what the show was called. It was like a vampire. The main guy was named Julius. But Wait, was, was it a vampire who was also a cop or something like that? Some, some, Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong show. It was around the same time. But yeah, like the Gargoyles, I remember, it was one of the first cartoon shows where you paid attention because the story was the most important. There was like an ongoing story throughout the whole thing, which was crazy because Ninja Turtles, they would go through one drama, one show, yeah, and then was something episodic. else. The next. This one was like... Oh, you have to watch the next one because the story is continuing throughout the whole, the whole season or whatever right. it was. It was great, actually. Was okay. Somebody in the live chat is saying "Forever Night." Was that it? No, no, okay, no, 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 not no. "Forever Night." Well, when I, when I'm gonna ask Anne. The later. funny thing is, Vampire in Brooklyn. His Vampire name is, in Brooklyn. His name is Julius. <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm wondering if you're thinking Julian. About... His name was Julian. Oh, Julian. Julian. Okay. Julian. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Julian. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.